Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about hyperopia and myopia. Now these are the technical names for long sightedness and short sightedness. And um, we'll start off with long and then talk about short. Okay, so hyperopia uh, is long sightedness, so hyper being large, um, long sightedness. Now, it's important to note here that these um, long-sightedness and short-sightedness are defined by what you can see rather than what you can't see. So someone with long-sightedness can see distant objects, but has trouble focusing on objects that are close to them. Uh, the cause of this is that the image focuses behind the retina. Uh, so where the image is supposed to focus on the retina, that focal length of the lens is too long, uh, causing the image to focus behind the retina. This can happen for a couple of reasons. It could be that the eyeball is too short, uh, and this is a condition that you're just born with, um, so that to being too short, that focal point then is behind where the retina ends up. Uh, and quite commonly, it can be uh, due to age. So when you get older, your lens loses elasticity, um, and this means that you have trouble getting that lens to maximum accommodation. So when you're trying to focus on things that are close to you, uh, the lens doesn't get uh, curved enough and stays a little bit flat, um, so you can't quite get there. Uh, another reason for this is that the cornea may not have the correct refractive power. So your cornea might be uh, slightly the wrong shape also. There's a few disadvantages to being long-sightedness, and most of them, are, well, all of them, are to do with things that are in front of you and not being able to see things that are in front of you very well. So this impacts if you're reading books or newspapers or computer screens, if you're trying to manipulate tools uh, or machinery with your hands, or if you're trying to do something close to your face like chess, uh, playing chess or sewing. All of these things involve focusing at a very close distance, which is uh, not possible if you have hyperopia. Uh, fortunately, there are, is an easy fix to hyperopia, and that is wearing convex lenses. Now, these convex lenses bend the light prior to reaching the eye, uh, meaning that the eye itself, and the, so the cornea and the lens, don't have to do as much of that focusing. Uh, so they shorten the focal length, meaning that where the light used to focus behind the eye, uh, it now, or behind the retina in the eye, it now focuses on the retina. Okay, myopia is the opposite of this. This is short sightedness, so you can see things that are close to you, but you cannot see things out in the distance. Now, the reason for this is that the uh, lens is too convex, uh, meaning that the focal point is in front of the retina rather than being on it. Uh, this could be caused uh, by having a eye, an eye that is too long from front to back, uh, meaning that where it's that uh, focal point is then happens to be in front of the retina rather than behind it. Uh, there's a few disadvantages to this as well, and again, these are about focusing on things that are uh, far away from you. So, for example, watching movies, uh, driving in traffic, uh, recognizing people. Um, so when we say recognizing people, if this was a problem in animals, for example, they wouldn't be able to recognize whether somebody was friendly or somebody was dangerous. And this would be a problem um, evolutionary with things like hunting and um, making sure that there's not predators around and stuff like that. If you can't see out in that distance, you're not able to do the scanning the horizon and you could be in danger. The way that we correct this is the opposite. We use, well, we still use spectacles, but in this case, we use a biconcave spectacle. Uh, and what this does is it actually splits the light prior to reaching the eye so that when it, the refraction in the eye does occur, it then focuses onto the retina rather than in front of the retina. In this video, we've talked about hyperopia being long sightedness and myopia being short sightedness. Point to remember is that these um, conditions are defined by what you can see rather than what you can't see. So in long-sightedness, you can see long, can't see short. In short-sightedness, you can see short,
can't see long. And both of these can be corrected by wearing spectacles, whether they are a concave or convex lens. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.